Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a lovely day. And um, my Wednesday's been okay. You know, the daily grind, been in London today. Glad that day's over and I'm already looking forward to the weekend. Is that bad? It's kind of like wishing your life away, isn't it? But I cannot wait for the weekend. But anyway, today's video is going to be about Gemma Lucy, who was in Celebrity Big Brother and of course, Ex on the Beach. She's launched a scathing attack on Katie Price. This is all in the Star today, the Daily Star. But I'll get into what she said. And obviously they've had a bit of beef in the past, especially to do with Kieran, Katie and... Gemma, I thought, you know, we all know about that. I think, obviously, I think Katie thought that maybe something went on between them, and I think that Gemma said it didn't, whatever. However, Gemma has basically launched a scathing, pretty nasty attack, if you want to call it that, on um, Katie Price, and basically said that she thinks that Katie Price deserved to be cheated on by husband Kieran. I don't agree with that. Um, no matter what, I don't think you deserve to be cheated on. There's other ways of dealing with things. I don't think she deserves that, but everyone's entitled to their own opinion. You know, I don't mind Gemma Lucy. I think she can be a bit crayed, a bit out there, but I do like that about people. I like it when people are a bit, you know, a bit, you know, a bit naughty. But um, I'll, I'll get into what she has said. And as I said, this is all in the star. Um, what did she say? So the 29 year old 70 be brother star claimed that Katie, oh, she's calling her names, calling her a bit of a bitch, calling her a bitch, and sensationally claimed she deserved to be cheated on by husband Kieran Haler, which obviously I do not agree with. I don't agree with cheating. She said she's a bitch, and until she stops being a bitch, she won't change till this will keep on happening. I didn't know they were that close. I mean, I know she knew her from before because she did that modelling competition with her, but I didn't know she knew that much about her. I mean, there's obviously stuff that I don't know here, you know. She said she's very selfish and self-centred. Everything is about her. I don't know. She. I'd like to think she's not as much like that now. Katie Price, I'd like to think she's calmed down a bit, but who knows? She said the closest to her just live in her shadow. They're like her slaves. She can make them do anything. Well... They don't have to do anything, do they? I'm just playing devil's advocate here. I think this is a little bit, a little bit much. I think um, it's up to them what they decide to do. But if you, if you don't already know, I know that Katie's brother has worked with um, Katie on her business like forever. I think he used to use and manage her money and stuff like that. And obviously she's very, very close to her mum as well. Or I think sort of obviously helps out. And I think she helps out with the kids and things like that. But um as, I mean, as it has been reported, Gemma's and Katie's fused between them. I mean, this goes back yonks and yonks and yonks. And as I said, this started when Gemma Lucy was on a show. Katie Price was doing it, get, you know, was doing, <laughs> it was getting signed to her own modelling agency called Signed by Katie Price. And yeah, I mean, so I think it all kind of started there. And then obviously when Gemma Lucy was in Big Brother, you could hear Katie, you know, actively chanting, you know, get her out when she appeared on Big Brother's bit on the side. So, you know, they're kind of both as bad as each other in a lot of ways, you know. But I think it's a bit harsh to say that she deserves to be cheated on. Just my opinion. But saying that, I can see why Gemma is annoyed because when she was on, um, I'm sure when Katie Price was on Ryland's um, Big Brother, Big Celebrity Big Brother's bit on the side, I'm sure that Katie kind of said that Gemma's worth nothing, which is a bit mean. Katie does sometimes run off of her mouth. I don't think she always, I, I don't mind Katie Price. I really don't mind her and I don't mind Gemma either. But um, I don't think anyone deserves to be cheated on. That's the one thing I would say. But she's obviously royally peeved off with her. Maybe her words have been twisted a bit. I don't know. But what do you think about that? Do you think Katie Price deserves to be cheated on? I don't think anyone deserves to be cheated on. Whether I like them or not, love them or loathe them, I don't think everyone, or I don't think anyone deserves to be cheated on. But I wonder now, I mean, especially at the moment, Katie Price is going through a hell of a lot. I don't like to talk about really bad, depressing things on my channel. I like to keep it a bit more lighthearted. But obviously, Obviously, um, her mum has been diagnosed with a terminal lung condition this week and also I think it was around about four weeks or something like that I'm not too sure on the actual dates before um, Kieran obviously it all came out about Kieran having an affair Katie Price also had a miscarriage so to say these kind of things right now I think's a bit mean that's what I think think is a bit mean but who knows who knows what's going on with them too um i just think it's a bit mean to say it in a minute as I, as I said i don't think anyone deserves to be cheated on and katie price is going through a hell of a lot she really really is but i guess people don't care about that and they don't have to care about that do they i mean 
I guess if you felt like somebody had been horrible to you, you'd maybe want to clap that, clap back, wouldn't you? I don't know, I don't know. But I just don't think anyone deserves to be cheated on. So I wonder if Katie Price will retaliate because Katie Price, she's not one to hold back her feelings, is she? So we will see. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a lovely evening. Oh, what I was gonna say, I've mentioned it in another video, but I'm not sure I'm going to put it out tonight. If any of you watching my video are in the path, I know I do, I do get quite a lot of American viewers. If any of you are in the path of Hurricane Irma, my thoughts are with you. Please stay safe, and I'm hoping the damage is as little as possible. But anyway, I hope you have a lovely evening, and I hope to see you tomorrow.